Oh, baby. Welcome back for episode 108 of my blind let's play of Dark Souls 3. At the end of the last episode, I beat Sister Freedy, whatever the fuck her name is. The extremely fucking difficult goddamn three-phase boss. Oh, it felt so good to finally win. Uh, let me put back on my normal adventuring fucking gear just in case uh, I have more adventuring to do before I fight another boss. Uh, we'll, we'll put my torch up. Fuck, I might as well use... No, I'm not even going to use the follower torch. The only difference is that uh, it weighs a lot more and it allows you to do a flamethrower. But... Uh, I suppose that's better than a torch strike. Fuck it, we'll do it. Um, yeah, okay, so let's let's read this uh, extremely hard-earned soul. So, yeah, for, I keep saying Freedy just to not be, like, too fancy. Like, Frida? I, I can't remember how the guy was saying it, the Wilhelm knight that I killed. That was her, like, guardian or whatever. Uh... I don't know, it sounds like a German name or something, like Friede. Uh, or Dutch, or I don't know what. But then her father was speaking with a Scottish accent. Which is cool, but uh, I don't know. Sister Friede. Hello. Now I'm sounding Italian. All the Romance languages have uh, commonalities. Uh, Friede was the first Ash to enter the painting, but uh, together with uh, the good father, they chose to rot. They chose rot over fire. Okay, so maybe he's not her father, or maybe he is the father. Oh, wait a minute! Isn't there supposed to be like a like a boss in this DLC called Slave Knight Gale or something like that? Maybe, and that was like. She's one of the three sisters. The another one of the three. Oh, I should go back to that other church where the other, like, or where her one sister was. I don't know where the third sister was. Maybe the third sister was the woman in the white knight armor, like roaming around the main game that I found several times with that, like, black knight dude who was growling, who I thought was Wilhelm. Uh, so many questions. And then, like, the the uncle of the three sisters was supposed to be that slave knight Gale that I've heard of, who I. Just through being spoiled, like I know he's supposed to be possibly the hardest enemy in this game, like hardest boss. And then like the fact that the father there was called father, I figured maybe he he was like the father of one of them. Or the father of the three sisters, and then the brother is the slave knight Gale, because he's the uncle, but maybe he was just like a father as in like father of the church there. They chose rot over fire. Yeah, there's all the rot in that painted world. And they chose to rot instead of, like, to have, like, the fire purify them and burn the world down. But now that I've come, they don't really get that choice anymore. So where is this bonfire? That I didn't have to light it, so it's like, I've already been here? Oh, yeah, this is the bot. This is... So, okay. So beating that boss leads to the drag heap. Why? I've already been here. Okay, let's go back to... Okay, let's go to the Corvian settlement. This is where that other sister was. Let's see if she's there and see if I can talk to her and see if she says anything about me having defeated sister. Sister of Friede. We love you, sister. Why don't you eat some pasta? Isn't it stupid? I think it's stupid that... You're allowed to, like, make fun of any fucking white nationality. Unless you're Jewish, then you're not allowed to make fun. But any white nationality you can make fun of all day long. Italian, Russian, German, Scottish, Irish, English, French, I mean, you fucking name it. Anybody who's not that, Oh, it's so mean! Can't make a Chinese accent, can't make an African accent, that's so mean and wooed! Wow, sounds like, uh... Oh, sounds like people have pretty thin skin. I don't know what to say about that. It, it, I mean, if you're making fun of anybody with the intent to be rude and disrespectful, that should be considered rude and disrespectful. If you're making fun of anybody, or if you're just having fun with somebody, or with their accent or whatever, that should be, you know, just fun. Uh, but that goes back to the discussion I was talking about when I was fighting Dragon Slayer Armor about segregation of detail. 
Something can be true or untrue and be evil. Something can be true or untrue and be good. Something can be intentionally good or evil, true or untrue. Some, something can be unintentionally good or evil, true or untrue. But I digress, as says Blathers, the owl from Animal Crossing. Uh, okay, so this is where this woman is. I was confused about what bonfire I had to go to. Hello, you are not on the table anymore, my lady. Where have you gone? I'm not knowing where you're having gone, and I cannot find you anymore. I mean, maybe she was. Maybe this was Sister Frida that was on this table. Oh, fuck, enemies are just dying and giving me their souls. Fucking right. Oh my god, they're just dying left and right. I can hear them. Okay, whatever. Um, let's travel back to this chapel and see if there's anything I can find here. Maybe there's something in the attic now. Since there was an attic here that had all kinds of paintings and a really huge easel and a fucking... And a big stained glass window in it. Maybe there's something there now. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? We are about to find out. But first, I will go back into the boss arena and just explore it a little bit more. Great sound effects in this game, I'll give it that. I can hear the flames. It's pretty cool sounding. And like... I, I did get more used to the invisibility aspect of this boss. Where you, you really had to listen in order to to understand where, where it was. As long as there were certain visual cues that would help you sometimes. So this... <sighs> travel to Dread Keep. Yeah, I don't understand what's the significance of that. And like, maybe I should go back to Dread Keep and try and... Try and defeat that... Um, flame pyromancer woman towards the end that uh, was really difficult maybe try and explore the end of that area a little bit more and see if maybe there is something more to explore there maybe that leads to the ring city uh, I mean I don't want to leave stuff on the table in this game like I want to do everything and get everything but uh, okay let's see if there's anything up here and then if not, I'm just gonna warp back to fucking... Ah, oh, my cape is all ashen again. Does that only happen, like, right after I kill a boss? And then once I die a few times, it goes away or something? Because I, I look insanely fucking cool the way I'm all cindered up as the champion of Ash. Okay, well, this is that other girl. I can hear the fire crackle. And soon, I will see it. Huh. My thanks, Ashen One. My pleasure. I will finish the painting. Awesome. Of a and cold, dark, and very gentle place. So that it might make a home for someone. Someday. Nice. Yeah, this place is cold, dark, and very not gentle. My thanks. I will have a cup so that it... Cool. Very cool. Very, very cool. I, I mean, I'll give credit where it's due. There's a lot of fucking cool stuff in this game. A lot, a lot, a lot of very cool stuff in this game. Okay, so I need to go... Uh, get at least one level. Back at the Firelink Shrine. I mean, the fact that beating her leads me... Oh, I guess... So, the, the one warp to the Dreg Heap was in the flame, the, the, the killing of the first flame, but I guess, like, technically I got to this painted world as early as basically the beginning of the Cathedral of the Deep. Because that guy told me to touch the scrap of the painting and then I entered the painting, but maybe... Ah, uh, fuck, I, I should just do more health, eh? I should just keep doing more health. Stamina is important, but health you can't live without. Um... Ashen one. So, let me think here. So, technically, if I went into that painting and somehow that early were able to defeat this all and beat her, then I could have gotten into the Dreg Heap very early into the game, way before Flame of the, or Kiln of the First Flame. Okay, let's go trade in uh, her soul, see if I get 
oh, please give me an, an incredibly epic uh, ring, spear, or shield. Okay, I'm looking for soul of, well, I can see the one that's lit up there. Sister Freed, oh, of course, the scythes. I mean, that makes total sense. Or rose, oh, a whip. Oh, a whip, that's kind of cool. Oh, it's a faith-based whip. And that is faith and intelligence. Well, neither are good for me, but let's just check them out. A flail, oh! Fetch me my flail, please fetch me my flail! The first time you encounter the boss, he's begging for his flail. He never has his flail, though. All he does is, like, hit you with his big cauldron. A flail used by the bulbous father of the painted world to shred his own skin, producing blood to appease the flame. Oh! Maybe it was some of his blood along with hers that went into that big cauldron. To appease the flame. The black flame? And what was the flame that I was supposed to bring to her that was going to help, like, burn that world down? Was the... I'm a little confused by all that. It is neat, but also confusing. Is the flame I was supposed to bring to her the black flame that I was supposed to bring to her by fighting her and getting her to unlock it from within her? Then again, the flame came from the father. The father was the one using the flames, and then they combined together. At least according to that dialogue, it seemed like they did after beating the second phase. Something about two ashes combining. And then all of a sudden, she's got two scythes instead of one, and she's got flame as well as frost attacks. Uh, both a weapon and a miracle catalyst. Neat. Ariandel, being the restorer of the painted world, knew that it was painted with blood, and only blood could protect the secret. Wow, that's uh, gruesome. Awakening. Violently flail oneself to trigger an awakening that temporarily boosts the strength of miracles, just as the good father used the rose himself. Alright. Uh... A great scythe wielded by Sister... Yeah, Elfridi. It's not just Fridi, it's Elfridi. With a curved blade thinly coated by painted world frost that easily breaks the guard of shields. Yeah, damn right it does. In the painting, the scythe is a... Well, I'm glad they included that description. At least keep it consistent for a while. I was constantly getting my shield blasted back. In the painting, the scythe is a symbol of a long-lost home, possibly explaining Elfride's preference for it. A long lost home. Wow. El free distance. Conjure a magic bladed support scythe into the left hand while the great scythe remains in the right. A stance derived from El Frides, former swordsmanship. Use normal attack to leap forward and swing twice, or strong attack to coat the earth with running frost. Neat. Neato. Um Don't really need either one. Just gonna pick this one because it costs less in souls. And it's possible that I could. Uh, I don't think I have enough stuff to sell to get another level up. How many souls do I need? 53,900? I, I definitely don't think I do. I could start buying some of the other armor. Because if I go. Whatever I go out to do, I'm just gonna lose these fucking souls. Yeah, 8,000. Okay, let, let's... What do I want to purchase? I mean... Let's compare... Okay, let's let's compare... My helmet, just as a baseline, because this is going to be similar to this, even if it's a little bit off. Weight, 5.9. Poise, 6.8. Armor's in the 5.5 range on average. So, all around the 5 to 6 range. Okay, but 5.8 weight, 6 point something poise. I'm comparing it to this crown as well as this one. 6.7, so this is heavier, barely has more poise, it does have a little bit more armor. This is not as heavy, not as much poise, and more expensive, but way fucking cooler looking. <laughs> Uh, I probably should go for some of these. Because I can afford a little bit of extra weight. Well, no, wait. No, I can't when, uh... I really can't afford the extra weight when I'm... When I'm switching shields to fight the other guy. Uh -huh. 
so I, I kind of okay, have 16,000. I could buy, I can only afford, well, I could buy the, could buy the super badass armor. <laughs> I could buy the super badass crown. I mean, I might as well buy this, right? Since it's just what I have enough for. Or I could buy three pieces of this. But they're all really fucking heavy. But they would work with my current shield. I kind of want it all, but I don't know. It seems more efficient to buy this stuff since I have enough for three of the pieces. And then if I use that other soul, I could afford that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's uh, let, let's just go for it since I can get the whole set. I really do want Lorien's set. I think it's probably gonna look insanely fucking cool. But uh, since I have enough for all of this, and since it will combine well with my my current shield, that leaves me with a lot of uh, excess weight capability that is not being used. Let's just go for it. Okay. Yeah, because oh, I am at 69%. Well, that's only because I have the insanely heavy torch on. So let's let's go for it. Let's see if I can wear it all. Millwood Knight helm. Millwood Knight armor. Millwood Knight gauntlets. Oh yeah. Millwood Knight leggings. I can wear it all plus the torch. The the lighter torch. Oh, dude. I mean, that's pretty cool looking. It's a little hefty. I, I do prefer the the slimmer look of some of the other armors. Um, just looks a little... I don't know what's the right word. Like sleeker, I suppose. But, uh, I mean, this is pretty fucking badass looking. And it is the fucking... I am, I am using the shield of those guys, too. So I'm literally using entirely stuff from these guys. Other than I'm not using one of their weapons because they did not provide me with a spear or a lance or anything like that but I mean this is pretty cool this is pretty cool now fuck now I want the fucking the stuff from that prince too though but that would cost a lot of fucking souls I mean I could, I could grind out for those souls just for something to do maybe at some point wouldn't take too many uh too many runs of those purple cloak knights in order to fucking get the souls for it. But I did say I wasn't grinding for souls, but I mean, if I'm not going to use them for leveling, and it's just because I want to see what the other armor's like, and the armor's not going to help me that much, it's just going to look different. I suppose it wouldn't be the, the end of the world. But anyway. Okay. So I've got even more poise. Alright, let's, uh... I don't know, do I just go back to the soul of Cinder Boss? Or... Like... Uh, I did this fucking area. I guess... Now that I've changed up my equipment a bit, I'm a little bit higher level, I should run to the end of it again. I wish I could... See, I killed the one enemy at the end that killed one of the two, like, Death Angel enemies. So I wish I could find the other, like, weird little, like, snake human enemies that would would kill the other, like, death angels from the sky. That way I wouldn't have to fucking deal with them and I can actually properly fucking explore this area. Although I feel like I did explore most of this area, but obviously I didn't fucking get it all because there's that item haunting me straight fucking ahead of my eyeballs right there. That jump is not makeable. Okay, so let's 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 just get to the end of this area and try and defeat that fucking pyromancer fucking lady. That is extremely difficult and heals herself and fucking does massive damage even through my shield. And there's no fucking bonfire anywhere close to her. And then how do I get on top of there too? I couldn't figure out a way to get on top of there, but it's impossible to fucking... Oh, I have to get up there and then drop down on. I see. I see. Well, let's try that. Damn it. Maybe maybe the other enemy is on top of there. 
So let, let's really try all that. But the first major key would be if I would be able to... Um, oh, and I should probably buy some more poison healing items. But yeah, major key would be able to uh, defeat that fucking pyromancer bitch. Can I get on here without getting poisoned? Fucking right, I can. Okay, this is going to have to be slow and very steady. Because to just get all the other enemies around here defeated takes quite a bit of waiting. If you want to fight them without fighting her at the same time. So I can, I can lure this guy. Two hits, fucking right. And then I'll go over here and kill this guy. One, two... And then I have to wait for these other fuckers to walk down here with her. Where is she? Is she not even there? Oh no, she's there. She's absolutely there. So let's run back so that I don't accidentally aggro her. They have to come back and then turn around and then I can chase them down and aggro them without aggroing her. Uh, should I keep this or should I change to something? Let's change this off. To something a little more helpful like do I need damage more or do I need this shit more probably damage would help me more considering I have to out damage her fucking healing capacity Boom. let's try and aggro the imp without aggroing her please okay Now, if only I could get up behind her without aggroing her and get a free backstab, that would be incredibly fucking helpful. She walks too fucking fast. That's a lot of damage, man. Heal, you piece of shit. R2. Okay. R2 again, fuck it. Oh, I didn't quite get her. R2. Knock her off. Oh, big damage? Well, fuck it. Let's explore beyond her. Fuck it. <laughs> While I've got the ability to do so. So I go up here. Oh, the fucking death angel can see me up there. That's such shit, man. But I feel like I have to... Yeah, I have to walk over there. Like, I have to walk along these. In order to, uh... In order to fall down onto that roof. And I can't fucking calmly explore this area and see what all it gives me access to. Since I have the fucking death angel on my fucking ass. Okay. Okay. What does that message say? Who fucking knows? Take the plunge, you won't die. Alright. <gasps> no way, this area does continue. Oh, okay. But I still have to get back there. It's another plunge. Dude, I still have to get back there. I have to defeat the fucking Pyromancer. And I have to fucking see where else I can get to from up on that fucking roof area. Well, whatever. Let's just keep exploring. Dude, you should let me back up there. Fuck, man, that's so fucking annoying. Well, I guess I know there's a shitload more to explore here. <gasps> Here's the guy. Yes, the death angel's gone. Oh my goodness. That's so fucking vindicating. Twinkling Titanite. Alright. What is this going to give me? Okay! I have more to explore. I'm excited. Another Ember. That's another thousand souls. Fucking right. Okay. And then... Can I get up that fucking route there? No. Definitely not. So let's go over here. Oh, this is awesome. This feels so fucking good. 
Maybe this is the area that leads to that ringed city or whatever. Who knows? Huh? Where am I supposed to go from here? I mean... I would say that, uh... It doesn't look like I can go anywhere from here, so... I don't know why they even gave me that. Just for the view, I guess? But then where do I go from here? Usually if you're able to drop off the edge, it fucking gives you the message to let you know that you're not gonna die, so I don't trust dropping off the end of that thing. Oh, I can walk up that fucking route. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Cool. Oh, maybe this will let me walk all the way back up. Through some twisted path. Is that the one I just walked off of? That message there? Maybe. Oh, baby. That one's too steep to walk up. But we are up. God damn, this feels good. Holy shit. Progress, baby. Okay, is there anything down here? Can't get through there. Yeah, this is where I just dropped off of. Fucking right. Fucking right. And then there's the item on the roof. And there's no fucking death angel after me. So I can actually take my time and explore. And I haven't died or reset yet. So that fucking bitch might be running around in the poison somewhere. For me to still go and uh, try and kill. Okay. Alright. Boom. Is it just this item? Might be a really good item. Find blessing, that's it. I guess that was just to lure you over here. To make you realize that you should come over here and that lured you over to the fucking guy that you killed to... To get rid of the Angel of Doom. So, okay. And now I can go back to the bonfire whenever I want to progress. But first I gotta find... Where the fuck that fucking pyromancer bitch dropped onto? Is she over there? <laughs> Amongst a bunch of other fucking enemies. I didn't get poison though. R2. Knock her down. R1. What? What the fuck happened there? Oh my god. I don't want to fight her and a bunch of other fucking enemies. Oh my god, she managed to heal too. Oh, they can hurt her! Dude, kill her. Oh, I'm dead. That's such fucking dog shit. That's such fucking dog shit. Now I gotta fucking redo this all. At least the fucking angel of fucking doom's not gonna be fucking shooting shit at me. I definitely want to go back and get those souls. Within the Earth and Peak Ruins, okay. Gotta go back here. Oh, you know what? Maybe it would have been faster to go from where I was, but wouldn't be that much faster. I would have to do a bunch of perilous climbing upwards. Now, uh, oh, now I can explore those roots above, but yeah, I wanna kill that bitch. I, I feel like I can get her now. Um, God, she heals herself fast with the Estus Flask, but if I can stay close to her, now that I have a lot more health, yeah, the Vigor is hugely helpful. I can stay closer to her, and when she does that, even if she heals, I can backstab her, and then I can get one of those big, long, like, L2 to fucking R2 combos. If I had more stamina, I could extend the combo longer, but whatever. Gotta take the wins where I can get them. Oh, this feels so good that I can actually fucking walk around this fucking area and explore it. Yeah, I didn't think that would be a way up there. All good. Let's just drop down. No fall damage. Fucking right. Let's fucking go. Okay, let's let's go back and get my blood stain. That is super fucking key. So that's like 28,000 souls, I think. 
Let's try also not to get poisoned. Okay, only only 16,000 souls, but still, you know, I want them. Was that a climbable route back there? I couldn't really tell. Okay, yeah. I mean, maybe I have enough fucking... Like, between the fact that I can two-kill, like, two-shot these imps, plus the extra health and shit I have, like, maybe I could just go after... Go after her with the two imps and get them fucking killed. But probably not, honestly. That probably would be, uh... Just asking a bit too much of myself. Okay, let, let's get them aggroed. Yeah, so they're they're walking down, so let me go take care of this other one on the roof while I'm waiting. Boom. Boom. Fucking right. And then are they coming? Slowly, yes. Yeah, I don't want to get greedy. I just want to fucking do this slowly but steadily. Get her alone and then take her out. Take her the fuck out. She does do a shitload of damage, but... Like, rolling through her fire projectiles and getting close to her, at least she's barely wearing anything so I can stun her. Oh, dude, no. I, I need to not aggro her. How did I not hit him? That's annoying. Okay, one down. Oh, fuck. Okay, I guess the other one fell off. I don't want her to fall below. She fell below. I mean, I guess maybe she took a little bit of fall damage, but now she's down below with some other fucking... piece of shit fucking giant troll. Okay, let me think about the best way to go about this. Let's get over here. So, since there was a Death Angel in the first area of Drag Keep 2, I wonder if there was, like, one of those, like, weird snake dudes that I missed that I could have killed in order to eliminate it as well, to make that area explorable more easily. I wonder, I wonder. Yeah, there's the fucking troll guy. I'd like him to not fucking be there. Oh, I'm, I'm just back onto this stupid thing. Alright, let's fall onto here. A little bit of fall damage, not too much. Okay, we got a tr an imp down there. Let's try and aggro it. Yeah, get over here. R2. Okay. Let's it down. I really don't want to be walking around in the poison getting poisoned. So where did she go? Is she just not here anymore? Just a four hit. Okay, let, let's see if I can get the fucking... The super stab on this thing. Nope. I just want to get the super stab that like one shots this thing. Nope. Oh boy. Oh my god, so much fucking health. So where did she go? Five, six. And then a big jump attack. Dude. I mean, I at least I can explore up top without her being there now, but I just want to jump attack this guy. Oh, I actually fucking staggered him. That worked. Two. Got him. Okay, let's, let's have a look. So, up there is where she fell off of. She should have been right down in here somewhere. You would think that I would have fucking aggroed her. Where does this lead again? 
Like, is she just wandering around somewhere down here? If she died and she left an item behind, I definitely want it. Is she in here? No. Okay, let's run back, hopefully without getting poisoned. Get back on top of this root. And I guess we'll just, uh... Guess we'll just go up top. I mean, I don't see her anywhere. I don't think that's her over there. It just looks like a little imp or a little poison enemy. Huh. I mean, I guess uh, if I want to kill her, I'm just going to have to fucking reset the area and come back again. So I do not see her anywhere. Like, maybe she magically warped back up top? Do not know. Do not know. Be, be cooler if she did. Right on. Well, let's get the torch out then so we can really explore everything up here. Let's get on here. So, there, bare minimum, there is that area, or that is that item towards the beginning of the area, which would be somewhere over here. Which I still have not collected. Oh yeah, it'd be way across those. Like, how the fuck do I get way across those? Like, how? Yeah, it's like on the other side of those fucking roots. How the fuck do I get to there? I just don't have a damn clue. Uh... Okay, so since I want to get her, let, let's just... Homeward Bone, back to my bonfire. It'll bring me back to this item that I'm trying to figure out the way to. I'll see if there's something near here that I missed out on because I was too stressed about the fucking death angel attacking me. Now that it's not here, I might be able to find something different. Yeah, there it is. Shiny old item. Like, going back here... Like, I had to drop from way the fuck up top to get down here. Doesn't look like there's anywhere over here that would even lead that way. So, scratch that one off the list. Oh god, so many of those guys. Can't even get on top of that part unless I went up here, maybe. Up here, over here on here uh, maybe that wind will wind windmill propeller could get me over oh okay we're good we're good we're good no I can't really get on that propeller and it also doesn't lead over there anyway okay uh, is there an invisible wall somewhere that fucking creates a cave or an illusory wall rather doesn't really... There's nothing that sticks out like poke me. Uh, oh, is it this? Yeah, the, there's almost nothing that allows you to fucking jump to a higher level in this game. In fact, I don't know if I've found anything like that even once, so... I shouldn't spend too much time trying to do that. Like, that is... Okay. This is almost, like, get onto a bull. But still not. Yeah, they, they really block your fucking... Your platforming capabilities. I 
Looks like even if I managed to stick the landing on that, it would still block me from getting up. It just kind of felt blocked. Like, there's the item right there. It's so close. They obviously want you to take some different path up there, but what is it? But what is it? I mean, I can more thoroughly explore this area, but I'm not really seeing a lot of potential over here. I know there's a couple imps behind that little shed. That doesn't do much for me, though. There's countless fucking edges for me to drop off and die. Seemingly cannot climb that route. Can't climb it from this side. So WTF, mate. WTF. Oh. Oh, are you fucking serious? Jeez. Twinkling Titanite. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's make our way down through here again and try to defeat this pyromancer lady. And if she drops down somewhere, I will just try and fucking chase after her immediately so that she doesn't disappear on me. And if she's not there, then I'll assume that she already died and hopefully if she was supposed to drop an item, that the item is sitting there waiting for me. That's about all I can say about that. Run across to here. Restore my stamina. Let the poison go down a tiny bit and then run. Alright. Okay, now we got four imps to kill and then one desert pyromancer lady of doom. Boom. Boom. Okay. They'll be coming down the mountain when they come. They'll be coming down the mountain when they come. They'll be coming down the mountain. They'll be coming down the mountain. They'll be coming down the mountain when they come. Okay. Gotta wait for them all to get here. Wait for her to turn around. So I gotta stand pretty far away so I don't aggro her. I really would prefer not to knock her off any ledges unless she's at like 5% health because the fall damage does very little to her. Okay, she's turned around and these guys aggro more easily than her, thankfully. One. Oh, one, oh, two, and ow, don't fucking hit me with nothing like that. Okay, boom, tight night chunk, let's fucking go baby, I'm only at 45 minutes into episode 108, I got lots of time, let's just go for R2, oh my god, her fucking whip, roll, throw another one at me bitch. Damn it, my fucking roll attack sucks. Boom, combo. No, I don't have any fucking stamina. Yeah, okay. She healed, but I fucking at least got more damage onto her. Boom, boom. Okay, I need to get a full stamina big ass combo on her. Two, three, four. Okay, more stamina. Boom. Okay. Every time she heals, I just go in on her. Okay. Let's... Got her. Oh, baby. 
Oh, 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 baby. Everything's coming up Thrill House. Big souls. Big item. Flame fan. What's, is that a, a weapon or is that like a spell? Yeah, it's a spell. Okay, let's uh, let's just use the damn homeward bone. We will go... I don't know if I should level up again or if I should go for that fucking cool guy armor. I, I kind of want to get some pieces of the cool guy armor. Because when I'm fighting Soul of Cinder, I'm using that way heavier shield so that I can get the 80 stability plus the high fire defense. And I am not able to even wear all, all of my silver knight armor. But I believe that the Lothian armor is even lighter than the Silver Knight armor. So it could actually be quite useful along with looking very cool. So based on that, I think it's worth going for. Um, I think I have enough for all of it, right? Yeah, absolutely I do. Very, very, very cool. So let, let's just test that out. So that, oh yeah, awesome. Okay, we'll put this back on. But say, say I'm gonna fight that guy, it would be with this ring and this ring. Oh, that gives me extra fucking, whoops, no, it's this ring and this ring. That does give me extra weight to work with, but Let's get rid of that. This fucking shield. Which one is it? It's this one, right? 80 stability. Yeah, fire and magic defense through the roof. Awesome. But now I'm too heavy. So let's see if I can wear all the fucking Lothian armor. Uh, which is where? Oh, boom. To the right of the silver. <laughs> Dude. I mean, that's pretty cool. Let's go stand next to a wall. Get the full effect. Oh, my face looks dumb as hell. But, but I can even wear more than that. So I could even put on, like... I have a little bit of extra weight to work with. So I could wear, like... Lothric knight armor or or could I wear the fucking Millwood knight? I could even wear the Millwood knight Which one has better stats? The Lothric knight armor deals with Fire better but magic worse Lothric knight gauntlets Oh, and then I have double cape because of the the fucking the leggings. So actually, I would say Lothric Knight leggings, but then change this to oh, and look at that. Okay, so Lorian's helm, Lothric Knight armor, Lorian's gauntlets, Lothric Knight leggings, and I'm looking pretty cool. It's actually not the coolest, but whatever. I don't regret buying it. It is what it is. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're going to progress from here. Um, I'd say this is a good place to end this episode. I would say this is a good... Yeah, maybe I didn't need to buy that stuff, but whatever. I was curious about it. I mean, it's kind of cool. At least I have another fucking set of stuff to mix and match within to to get uh, to the exact weight level that I may need at any given time for any specific build I want to do. But for now, let's go back to this and this and this and this and then all of these. Yeah, fucking right. Looking awesome. All right, we're ready to progress forward even more. 
Uh, I've already fallen down once here, right? Take the plunge, you won't die. Or no, I haven't fallen down this part. All right, cool. Let, let's end this here. Um, thanks for watching part 108. Oh, I finally beat that fucking boss. I beat the fucking Desert Pyromancer. I'm advancing this area. This feels really good. So I'll just keep doing more. I'll just keep doing more stuff. I'll slowly get even better equipment. Um, even better, uh, like even more levels. And then once I finally go back to fight Soul of Cinder, I'm going to move away just in case I accidentally fucking knock myself off. Move to a slightly thicker area. Um, yeah, once I get back to Soul of Cinder, he'll be even easier to beat. So, okay, things are looking better for me in this game. Thank you for watching. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, damn, I hope I find more, like, areas that reference uh, Dark Souls 2. So I really, really enjoyed that game. I look pretty cool. Let's, uh, let's face this way. All right. Yeah, looking awesome. Ready to move on? Uh, hopefully your day is going well. And uh, just let me know whatever you think of this run. How about me? Give me constructive criticism on what I'm doing if you want. I mean, shit, I would really appreciate that. As long as it is indeed constructive. Um, and, uh, and yeah, let, I mean, shit, still, if anybody knows where the fucking area is where I can respec my character in Cathedral of the Deep or how to get across that fucking bridge that that Onion Knight bastard fucking prevented me from doing i would really be interested in knowing that or even if you just wanted to give me a hint that would be excellent as well um because yeah i tried to cross the one bridge inside the big cathedral room to to get to some treasure room that the fucking onion knight told me about and then i went on it and he fucking lowered the bridge and i had already killed the giants so he was like oh damn the giants aren't there because he was trying to feed me to the giants didn't work but regardless i never figured out how to get across there anyway yeah i'll be back soon for episode 109 and uh peace out